What's going on guys? This is Tall Guy. Uh, I just wanted to briefly talk about something that is uh, it's kind of important when you're searching for games or any type of any type of game. And that is uh, things like not for resale. I'm just going to give you a few examples. First I'm going to give you an example on the Nintendo 64. Here I've got two Star Wars Episode 1 racer cartridges. But you'll see that there is a difference between this one and this one. This one is just the plain one. It's the normal one. And then this one, oh, you'll see this not for resale sign right there. This can increase the value of your cartridge by tenfold. I'm not even kidding. The normal Star Wars Episode One Racer game is about $5 maybe. So I'm just going to ballpark and say it's $5. I'm not sure on the exact amount. But, the not for resale version of this is upwards of $55 to $60. I'm not kidding you. I'm not making this up. You can go look on online, eBay, anywhere. These not for resale cartridges are really rare and hard to find because these are like kind of, um, these were given to the stores. And you only got one cartridge back in the day when they made these. You only got one of these cartridges, and uh, you didn't get it. You, these, this might be one of the only games you had. So um, the stores would display these on like demos, on like kiosks and stuff. You could play the game. So uh, yeah, look for the not for resale sign right there. You can see the difference. The one there's one on this side, but not one on this side. So just keep in mind whenever you're looking for a Nintendo 64 carts, look for the not for resale sign. It will increase the value of your car cartridge by tenfold in most situations. Uh, other ones for like the GameCube, for example, Super Smash Bros. Melee. On the front, they look identical. There's absolutely no difference whatsoever. But you turn on the back and then you'll be like, hmm, this one says not for resale down here. Hmm. You might want to. You always want to pick up the not for resale ones. It increases the value slightly on the GameCube ones. Normal Super Smash Bros. Melee games, complete and everything with the disc and the manual and the little instruction thing, go for, for about fifty dollars right now in 2015. Uh, the ones with the not for resale ones might make it worth like twenty dollars more. And this is my personal copy, so this could sell for like seventy, seventy-five maybe just in 2015 so you always want to make sure to look on the back of every game that you have and see if it's not for resale um, and this melee is an extreme case so I'm going to give you some other examples so you got three games here the preview disc this one it's not for resale but every single one of these preview discs were not for resale so these are worth about five dollars not really worth that much you know you got Pokemon Coliseum the bonus disc they're all not for resale but this game right here, the bonus disc, is really, really hard to find. These go for upwards of $20, 25 in 2015. So here's the difference between these. These are both not for resale. There are no standard version of this. These are both not for resale editions, and there was no standard edition. But this one is more hard to find than this one. So this one's worth more than this one. It depends on each case. And for Super Smash, or it's not Super Smash. Super Mario Sunshine. Um, this one is a not for resale edition as well, but they're worth almost the same as much as the normal versions today. Maybe maybe it can increase the value by three or four dollars, maybe not by much today at all. So that's what these are by not for resale. Um, the ones that give you the most for your dollar are the Nintendo 64 carts. Um, Again, five dollars, fifty-five to sixty dollars. You might want to keep your eyes out for these. Any one of these that say not for resale on them, you always want to take a look at. Super Smash Brothers Melee. Take a look on the back. It says not for resale. Pick it up. If it doesn't, you're just gonna pay normal for what a normal game is. I just wanted to bring you guys to that attention. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Peace out.